Okay, so as I'm sure you're already aware, female birth control pills are intended to prevent contraception in women. Birth control pills are a kind of medicine with hormones, and the hormones in the pill stop ovulation. No ovulation means there's, there's no egg ready for sperm to fertilize, so pregnancy just can't happen. And there are two types of birth control pills, combination pills, which have both estrogen and progestin, and progestin-only pills, which are also known as mini pill. In addition to stopping ovulation, the pill's hormones also thicken the mucus on the cervix. This thicker cervical mucus blocks sperm so it can't swim to an egg because it's just too gosh darn thick and sticky down there. So we know what happens when women take the pill, but what happens when boys take these female hormones? Well, first off, although they are really, really, rarely used, female hormones actually can be taken by men for a number of medical conditions such as prostate enlargement, testicular cancer, and aromatase efficiency. So, as you probably learned in school during those talks, testosterone is responsible for the formation and development of male sex characteristics. You know the ones. But when testosterone is opposed by high levels of female hormones that are present in the birth control pills, testosterone will be less effective. Men who take female birth control may experience changes in both the functioning and physical appearance of their sex organs. Risks of taking female birth control may include a lowered sperm count, decreased libido, erectile dysfunction, and shrinking of the testes size. Most men can also develop breast tissue along with enlargement and darkening of the nipples. Another effect of the inhibition of testosterone is the decrease in size of large muscle groups such as the legs, chest, and arm muscles. This is because testosterone is largely responsible for the growth of muscle tissue and bone tissue. And because testosterone is associated with bone tissue growth, the bones may develop a condition similar to osteoporosis, becoming more porous and brittle. This may increase the risk of bone fractures. Fat storage may also be affected, leading to a feminization of the physical appearance because women store fat differently than men. Unsurprisingly, facial and body hair may also decrease in thickness and growth, although surprisingly, male pattern baldness may actually improve somewhat. Also, potentially another well-known fact, Testosterone is thought to play a role in male assertiveness and aggressive tendencies. As testosterone effectiveness is decreased by taking female hormones, men may, as expected, become less assertive. Some men may also lose interest in sex and other pleasurable activities while taking female birth control pills due, of course, to hormonal influence. Hot flashes and other symptoms such as insomnia and foggy thinking usually experienced by women may also occur. Birth control pill usage may also increase the risk of development of hormone-related blood clots as it does in women, particularly in those who smoke. Men who take female hormones, including birth control pills, may also increase the chance for developing liver and gallbladder disease. There may be, however, a decrease in the chance of prostate enlargement or prostate cancer. Now, obviously, if a guy takes one or two birth control pills, it will not do too much in the sense of altering hormones. But if they choose to take hormonal birth control pills over an extended period of time, the estrogen in birth control pills can alter the amount of testosterone in their body. And that's it. This video was brought to you by Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service founded by John Hendricks, the founder of the Discovery Channel. It offers over 2,000 documentaries and non-fiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers. This includes a show about gravity with the brilliant Professor Jamal Khalili as host, and in the first episode, they visit the LIGO lab in the USA where gravity waves were first discovered, and they uncover the latest theories about the cosmos that have come from studying the most intense sources of gravity imaginable, black holes. Unlimited access starts at just $2.99 a month, but for all of you guys, the first 30 days are completely free if you sign up at curiositystream.com forward slash sciencewithkatie and use the promo code sciencewithkatie. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. To see more videos, hit subscribe. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon and thank you for watching. Bye!